Yeah, that's completely it. false. And well, no, see, false. listen, it's not, not, you not know. personally applicable to you. I'm not speaking of you. I'm just speaking in general. When you looking at, well, you lot, are because you said well, one thing after I, I knew. I, I'm, not, okay. no, I'm familiar I with. You. I'm familiar with one. your situation. And I'm not speaking. But and you to said my name after you made the statement. Because you said, I know oh, that you're the only person on here that's out there like that. Because you're the only person on here that's okay. married to a white man, so I know that you're the one that's going to be offended to it. Well, Quinn is with a white lady. Quinn is with a white lady. My wife no, is no. white. But, but, but no, what I'm saying is not applicable. No, you just said your wife is white. Yeah, my wife is white. <laughs> hey man, but but you gotta remember, I, I'm a man of God, like for real, for real. No disrespect to anybody else, but I'm just saying I don't see skin; I see souls. Thank you. That's the only exactly. thing that matters. Sure, sure. Cool. Hey. Anton, Anton, Anton people, does too. I think that people absolutely. I think that people should roll with who roll with them. And so this is not specifically speaking to y'all, but when you look at a lot of these trends on social media, like I said in the first place. And the truth is, like, a lot of white guys is not necessarily trying to get with a certain type of black girl. That's just, the, that's just a fact. Or a lot of white guys ain't trying to get with a certain type of white girl that black men tend to worship. That's just the facts. That's the reality of it. And so when, when you, you see a lot her. of these couples, when you see a lot of these yeah, couples, the, ty the type of women that white men prefer is not the type of women that black men prefer. I'm not talking about fucking them or nothing. But I'm telling you that most black guys got a type. Most white guys got a type. When you're talking about the majority, they have a type, right? And so when you start to look at that and you say, okay, well, you start to look at the, the type of women that guys get with as far as different races, the reality is that it's always the opposite of whatever it is the opposite race likes. And that's, I, not a, that's, not, that's not all the time, but in a lot of instances, that is absolutely the play. I don't, I've don't. i never seen a white guy with a ratchet-ass black girl, so I kind of agree. Like, it's, I, it's I, like I, that overseas yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in Southern California, and I feel like it, it was rare for me to see interracial relationships, but when I did see white boys with a black girl, she's very much suburban. She's very, like, yeah, it's not like what... I guess like the typical I guess, black guy would go for it. I yeah. don't see yeah. a lot of black black guys with a lot of ratchet black women. Most of the black men that I see are with regular <laughs> women or prettier or regular. Like I don't see a lot of men that you would be like, why are you with her with these ratchet? I don't see that. I see a lot of ratchet women alone. I see a lot of ratchet women with each other, but well, I, don't I, don't see ratchet ratchet women. Women. I don't see a lot of ratchet women in relationships. Mm. Hmm. There we go. I, I see ratchet. I see ratchet white women in relationships all the time with black guys. No, I'm talking about. I, see, I feel like on I'm TikTok, there's a lot of ratchet couples, like ratchet black couples. And a lot of these white women, a lot of these guys, mm -hmm. be with. In a lot of instances, they could. If you didn't look at their skin, they could very much pass for pass for a black woman. I mean, yeah, with the tanning makeup. And the way that they talk, they, they mannerisms, the way that they, how fucking fat they are a lot of times. You can tell, like, I, look, come on, man. Are we going to be real or are we not going to be real? A lot of guys, we're being real. Guys, we're a lot of guys, they pick a girl. Hey, listen, listen. Black guys in a lot of instances pick a girl that they say is thick, but in reality, she's fucking fat. Yep. Yo, and so when you only look at a lot of white girls that wind up getting with black men, they are heavier. Facts. And white men, yep. to a larger extent, like flat backs. <laughs> are we gonna deal? Are we gonna I, be honest? No, he ain't lying. It? He ain't lying, man. Nah. I've been black there. I've been there. Like a lot of skin. And when you see a lot of these white women that get with black men, you'd be like, damn, what the fuck happened? That's just the truth. Now, if y'all don't want to deal with the reality and y'all want to be PC, then we can switch the subject. But if we just want to get straight to it, I don't, see black, I don't see black guys like, damn, I got to get me a Taylor Swift. They don't say that shit. Don't no black guy check for Taylor Swift. They don't give a fuck about Taylor Swift. Quinn does. 
Quinn loves the no, flat back, flat chest. To a, to a large majority, nobody <laughs> checked for Taylor Swift on this side of the fence. Quinn does. <laughs> No, I need I need some ass and I at least need some like some like B cups like transitioning to C cups. Are we saying that relationships are be, uh, go down to the physical? Is that what we're saying that, uh, saying that black men get that, with white women because they're safe? Or are we say, what are we saying? That, or are, are, are norm, black men getting with white women that they can get and where they live and where they are? I think it's more so because like, I'll, I'll speak for myself. I can't speak for everybody else, but for me personally. Working in corporate America, I am, the, if not, there is me and maybe one or two. And you're around, and I'll, again, speaking for myself, when you get in your professional realm and you look around and you're at a high level, it's not a lot of us because in reality, we're only, what, 11, 13% of the country. And then when you start competing at a certain level, there's not a lot of us in those rooms. Okay, so then you start to look at your pool to say these are the type of men that I that I'm around, or these are the type of men that I have to are in those circles, which means you start opening yourself up to different opportunities. There are certain people that you're only going to be with people in their area, or you know, there's like this thing that you know. I would say this: a lot of black men that I know today, white men are because of proximity, just like the, uh, the athletes are saying. Well, these are the girls around because they're going to certain areas and certain types of schools and they're around those type of women. So you have different access. Some people just don't even really have the options the way they think they do. And so I'll speak for myself where I say, those are just the type of men that I'm around. And so naturally you just start to date and then you you know, you know have different options and that's, that's just the way it happened for me. But other people, you know, depending on where you live or where you go to school or how you were raised, you might be around a different demographic of a person i just think it's all about that, who you're I around that could be true also i don't think that 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 you can negate that point or that experience at all and now you're talking about it on an individual level and you're talking about on proximity but i'm talking about preference preference and proximity is two different things i think that some people can have preferences but that doesn't mean you're going to have access to your preference i agree you can prefer that. You you can prefer like this type of man or a lot of black women say, oh, I want this type of man with this type of money and this type of thing. Right. Is that what we see on the Internet? And then when it when you really boil it down, you do not have access to that type of man that you say that you want. So therefore, you're going to get with a type of man that you can get. And so in my in my so in my opinion, I think that. A lot of men, in, in my perspective, I I stopped looking for a man a long time ago. I said, I'm not looking for a man because the right man is going to find me. And so I went with a man that was serious, went, pursued me, tried to date me on a serious level. That just so happened to be a white man. But I'm not saying that I, I've dated all types of men, but that's just who I met at that time in my life. But a lot of people have an issue with that. And I have so many family members or just people that I know that are like, I don't even know white people. And I live in Texas. Like, like, I don't even have any white friends. I don't be around white people. I don't hang out with them. And I'm like, I'm around them all the time. That's not weird to me, you know? So I just think people can have a preference. But again, like uh, uh, Malachi said, it boils down to, and when you're going to churches and you know you live in a city, you just might run into a certain type of person if you're open to it and you look deeper than the surface, like I think we should, and say it's not just about black love it's, or white love, whatever. Who is the person? Do they have the good uh, characteristics? Are they a good person? Who, l- let's look into their background. And I think that people really are, it's weird that we have this. And my dad told me this. He said, I'd rather you be with a white man that actually loves you than be with a black man that doesn't treat you right or doesn't accept you for who you really are or dims your light. So at the end of the day, I have the blessing I need uh, to, from someone that lived in a generation before me where it was actually racist and they actually grew up in the South where there was racist. If they can tell me he, he clearly loves you and that's the right person for you, that's who you should go for. And I think I don't it's a, disagree it's a with not one thing that you're saying. I don't disagree with I'm one just, thing you're saying, but you're but again, you're talking about proximity. Let me ask you a question. How old are you? I'm 30. Okay. You just got recently married within the last year, right? 
We're actually getting married September 1st, so we're not okay, married September yet. 1st. That's dope. Congratulations. I think that that's beautiful. Because, again, I don't rock with it based off of, um, you know, presentation. I don't care about diversity, equity, and inclusion. That shit don't mean nothing to me. Let me ask you a question. Though. At 21, what was your preference? Mm. Don't look around. You know At what your preference was. <laughs> no, I'm thinking, no, I'm thinking like, ooh, I'm just having a flashback. Girl, it's 21. Think, okay. You think about it. Come on. Come on, Queen. No, because I'm, I'm taking myself back. Because now that I'm 30, I'm looking back like, dang, remember my 20. So at 21, Ooh, I'm that's going to be louder than your microphone. No, she, she's, 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 she's cool. 21, what was your preference? So at 21, it was definitely, you know, black. Ooh. It was. So proc, that proximity shit went out the window, right? 